Raleigh, freaking North Carolina, was happening. Well, first, the place I had it got some really good fried chicken and hush puppies and burgers and mac and cheese. And I can't even begin to tell you how many times I've heard of that same slogan, but whatever. But this particular review may have some truth to it. Because when I looked online, this place is ranked number one best fried chicken in Raleigh, North Carolina. My God. Eh, so I guess we'll see. Let's get to it. Today's take a review comes from Isla Southern Kitchen. Welcome to the show. Y'all know right now, I man, this looks good as hell. We got the hot chicken mac and cheese bowl. Just so you guys can get a good idea how it looks. Got the pickles at the top, ranch on top, and the chicken and the mac and cheese at the bottom. The hot chicken bowl cost me $12, and it's a pretty good size. Got the mac and cheese at the bottom, as I said before. Got some nice ranch, the pickles, chicken looks nice and seasoned. Let's just check it out. Put the mac and cheese in between the chicken and then the pickles. We're gonna fold this mug. Oh man. Since I'm trying this first, if I had to choose, this right here is going to probably be my favorite. Why? Because it has chicken, ranch, and mac and cheese. Can't go wrong. Well, I mean, you can go wrong, but this right here is pretty good. I mean, the chicken is nice and long, juicy, tender, and it's all the way cooked. Just like I like it. And then they had a nerve of audacity to add ranch on it. Perfect. My problem is, Isla, is that this mac and cheese right here. Now, from my understanding, it's supposed to be a hot chicken mac and cheese bowl. I got the hot chicken, but where is my mac and cheese? These are just noodles right here with no cheese. And the ranch on this right here, I feel like with a bowl like this, you have to layer it. Because I didn't get enough ranch, Isla. I didn't get enough ranch on the top. Mac and cheese, ranch, chicken, ranch. That's what you should have done. You didn't do it. But nevertheless, I'll give you eight for it because it was pretty good. This one right here, man, it said to be a popular item, y'all. This right here is the, ooh, my God. This right here is the Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Oh my God. Nashville hot chicken sandwich cost me $10. And it has the chicken, of course. You can get it mild, medium, or hot. This looks like coleslaw on here. And I think there's ranch on here as well. Mm. It's all right. Okay, so with the chicken sandwich, y'all already know. When it comes to hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken sandwiches, or whatever the case may be, them buns gotta be right. Them buns gotta be toasted and they gotta be a good bun. This right here is a great bun. It's a spit, split holla, spit holla bread. This is a split holla bread. The buns goes good. When it comes to the chicken, no complaint. Big piece of chicken, nice and tender, juicy. I got it medium, which I probably should have got it mild. But even though the case is, this was a pretty good piece of chicken. At the bottom, you got my, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got my pickles. You got me one, two. It's like three. One of those trace pickles. It's all good. I like that too. The only thing I did not like about this sandwich right here is the freaking coleslaw. I want to know what type of recipe the coleslaw is because it's pretty trash. This just seems like it's just a bunch of ingredients just put together and you just testing it. This is cabbage mix and vinegar. That's all I taste. I don't taste no salt or none of that. On that. So yeah, we gotta fix that. Then like, but overall the sandwich is pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it eight. Y'all, this right here. Woo! They call this the uh the barbecue Sunday. Just want you guys to see how it looks right there, man. A lot of barbecue going on now. Barbecue Sunday cost me $13.50. And of course, it has pulled pork with the barbecue. We got pickles, we got mac and cheese, we even got collars down there. Good God almighty. It's definitely a lot going on, but man, I'm about to just shove this all in my mouth. Mm hmm. Mm. I bit off a piece of my fork and swallowed it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So this is one of them bowls to where I just love. I love the creativeness, I love the concept. You got mac and cheese, pulled pork, collards. So the concept, you get an A for it. The only thing about this right here is that it's just a lot of bland ingredients. You got the mac and cheese back in the mix again with no cheese, just the mac. You got the collard greens that are just bland as hell. And the pulled pork is good with the barbecue sauce, but without the barbecue sauce, it's just pulled pork. There's no type of flavor added to it at all. And that's just what, th that kind of pisses me off, I ain't gonna lie to you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a bad bowl. This is actually a really good bowl, but that they fix the collars, got to put more cheese on it, make the cheese, add some cheese sauce on it, and they got to fix the pulled pork. Once they fix that, this right here is going to be golden, all right? But as of right now, it's not. Got to give it a seven. So first place, I'm going to give it to the hot chicken mac and cheese bowl. Second place is Nashville hot chicken sandwich, and the third place would be the barbecue sundae. FYI, the barbecue sundae could have been first place, but just too many bland items in the bowl. Quality of the food was, 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 it was pretty nice. This restaurant definitely gives you a lot of food for the money. I spent about 
$38.97 today. I've spent more and gotten less, so no complaints there. I also like the fact that everyone behind the counter was wearing masks, and also they have a 96.7 sanitation score. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't get pictures. with just too many people in there. My apologies. I didn't really survey the restaurant because the restaurant is actually in a food hall, but I will say one thing I did not like about this was the barbecue sundae had way too many bland items. You guys definitely need to fix that. That has the potential of being probably one of the best bowls in North Carolina. Oh yeah, for sure, I would definitely recommend this restaurant to anybody that's in the barbecue town area. Personally, there's a lot of restaurants in this food hall. This is my first time even going there, but it's a nice laid back spot. They kind of tucked in the back, so just walk in, make a left, boom! There's Alice right there. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on the menu that you will like. You will not be disappointed. For more vlogs and contents, hit me up on YouTube, all right? And if you want to submit a restaurant for me to review, hit me up on Facebook at Chime Time or on Instagram at Mr. Chime Time. All my fans, love you guys so much. Have a merry, merry, merry Christmas. Thanks so much for your support. Be blessed, and I'm out of here. Peace!